We are about to have a family adventure day going and doing a craft together at Joanne Fabrics. We got our whole family together. We got Hallie. She doesn't want me to hold her hand. <laughs> but we're in a parking lot, so I hold her hand. And we're gonna go make some stuff. You ready, little twinsies? You ready? Unfortunately, they're not doing the craft anymore. We came in, brought all our kids in, and they guess the person that was gonna lead it didn't show up. So now they're looking at these little animals they wanna buy. They have their own money that they've earned doing chores and doing stuff and birthday money and things. So Hallie already bought one a few days ago. Now the rest of the kids are getting out their money just to pick one. But Hannah, you don't have money. Spend all yours. Zeke, you gonna pick one to buy? Oh, that one's cute. And Hallie, are you gonna pick one out? You oh, like that one? Uh oh, look at Toby. Uh oh, Toby, what are you picking out? Dogs. Dogs. You like Ruff Ruffs, huh? Ruff Ruff. Are you gonna spend your money on that guy? You gonna spend your money? Remember, once you spend, you can buy it, but once you spend your money once, you can't spend it again, remember? He's been Next one of these for a while, so I'm okay with this yeah, purchase. Yeah, it's okay. It's not a random one. When I come back, I'm gonna bring the This so one is. You're gonna get that Dude. one? You gotta earn some money. Mommy and Zeke are gonna go buy it and check out. I'm gonna take these kids and go outside because they get a little crazy. Let's go outside, Hallie. Did you buy it, Zeke? Let me see. What's in there? there? Is he have a name already? What's his it's name? A girl. Her name. What is it? Boy or girl? It. It's a, a boy. Name. What's his What's his name? I want to think of a boy name. Think okay, of think of a name. All right. Zeke wants you guys in the comments below to give him some name suggestions for a good boy stuffed animal, right? Okay. We'll read them in the comments below. <laughs> Got a change of plans. Instead of doing a craft for our family adventure day, we're at Home Depot. Um, you want to see the flowers? Uh, careful, those has, those would hurt your fingers, Toby. Let's give you a big owie. <laughs> We're gonna run some errands together. We gotta get like some oh, smoke detectors well. for our new house and pick up some other stuff. So, it's not the family adventure day we were anticipating, but it's what we got. But I got my Jaguar. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna turn this into a little adventure, a little mission. Is Hannah, you got the, the smoke detector? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, lots of cool little Christmas stuff coming up. And our mission is to find that thing in this whole entire store, okay Hannah? So that's our mission. It's, it's gonna be like a mystery. Yeah, all the kids are like, yay, look at everything! Okay, so it can be like, it's gonna be like a mystery we gotta solve. We gotta find it, okay Zeke? I don't think anyone else cares about this other than me. <laughs> Did you find him? You are a good detective. Oh, those are, well, we gotta keep looking for some smaller ones, maybe. What are you guys doing? We're supposed to be looking at hooks. We didn't end up finding a smoke detector. They don't have them here. So, well, not the size. Yeah. What are you doing? Are you having fun looking at mommy? <laughs> you silly girl. Are you having fun with us? And what are you doing back here, Karis? You hanging out, baby? Just looking around? So we're gonna get some hooks for the hang up in our entryway so we can have, uh, with winter coming, we we'll hang up some uh, winter coats and stuff and purses and things, especially for guests when they come over. So that's what we're gonna figure out. We didn't find what we were actually looking for here, but we did find something else we needed, which is a toy chest. We're gonna assemble this today for our backyard so that the, all the toys aren't just like all over. No, Toby! All over our backyard. <laughs> come here, little guy. No, let's go. This is not for you, you little guy. There you go. <laughs> run, little man, run. That's not how you run. That's like a dance run. <laughs> He's doing his little dance run. We are out at Piata to have lunch as a family. And one of the things that we do while Dana is up there, she's all the way up over there getting lunch. We play this game. It's called Heads Up. And the way it works is it's a little app. You have hit play. And then you hold it to your head. And then we have to guess, or help Zeke guess, what it is. What animal shows up. It's a little kid's game that we like playing. Okay, what is that? Oh, it's black and black white. Black and white, it has stripes. It lives in Africa. No, it's, a, it's like a horse. Yeah. Um, and it runs... Yeah, you can't tell him what it is. got to help him guess what it is. That's right. Yep. And then he tilts it down when he gets it right, and it switches to another one. Fishy. Yay, you got it. So the goal is just to guess as many as we can. It's a good little fun way to pass time while we're waiting and I need to keep all the kids occupied. Although I think I lost Toby. Oh no I didn't. There he is. Come in. Get him to see the little guy. 
guy. What are you eating for lunch, Hallie and Toby? You guys sharing some chicken spaghetti? This is Toby's fork. Eating some cheese with your piata. Dickie got a piata. I got mommy got me one. You, you gonna be okay with that? You got that, Zeke or Toby? You got it? Yeah. Is that yummy? Do you like it? Do you like it, Hall Hallie? You look like it. <laughs> the twins are eating some chicken also from from that bowl right there. So they're just munching on a little bit. Although Chloe doesn't look too happy. Aww. Time to go home now and Tim's gonna go home and be with the kids and I'm gonna go shopping for some good walking shoes because at the end of this week, Tim and I and the twins are gonna be in Seattle for a vlogger fair. So I'm really looking forward to that. Last year we went for the first time and we did the twins gender reveal there. So this year I'm really excited to take them back and be like, they really are girls. <laughs> Shows up to her senior prom Black converse beneath a snow white gown No boyfriend to hold her by the arm She steps onto the dance floor all alone They laugh as she and I have some boots that I bought for Seattle and to wear after that as well. But I gotta test them out first and the guy said, wear them around the house for a few days. He kept on asking me, he was like, when do you leave for Seattle? I was like, we're leaving on Friday. So um, he was like, wear them around for a couple days, see what you think, and then you can always bring them back. So. That's what I'm gonna do. Let us know in the comments below if you're gonna be at Blogger Fair. We'd love to hang yes. out with you guys and see you there. And a link in the description with more information about it if you wanna check it out. I think you can still buy Seattle tickets area. to go too. Come hang so out with us. it's not too late. We just bought our airfare like yeah. a week ago. And yeah. there's gonna be tons of other family vloggers there too. And the cool thing about uh, Vlogger Fair is that it's not like VidCon where it's like tens of thousands Massive. of people and it's like really hard to talk and hang out. Vlogger Fair is much smaller, way more intimate, and so it is certainly worth. If you're if you want to hang out with YouTube vloggers and like you can actually, actually like have hang some out time to talk. have a conversation. Yeah, that's why we go because it's way better that way for us to hang out with you guys and stuff. So I'd like to yeah. like to see you there.